Hello, I'm Tony from Bonners Piano Centres and this is my buyer's guide and main features demo of the new Nord Stage 4 performance keyboard. In this video, I'm going to explain the basic concept and workflow of the Nord Stage range of keyboards, which are applicable to people who want to use the keyboard for live performance, whether that's on stage or in the studio. I'll give you some simple demos of selected sounds and show how to create and store your own layer and split keyboard voice combinations too. Make sure you're listening to this video through a nice pair of headphones or monitor speakers, just so that you can really appreciate the beautiful sound quality of the Stage 4. Whether you're new to Nord keyboards or an experienced user, I hope this video will be helpful to you because I'm gonna share some of my favorite tricks and tips that I use every day when playing a Nord stage instrument. I regularly release in-depth videos and guides for the latest videos, so please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when the next one is available to watch. At this point, I think it's helpful to say that if you want to get your hands on a Nord stage to test drive it before making a purchase, you can do this at one of Bonner's piano centres here in the UK. We have three stores, one on the south coast in Eastbourne, another in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway, and a third showroom in Milton Keynes, close to the M1 and A5 roads. All our stores are out of town and have on-site parking and give you a really convenient way to try the Nord Stage 4 to ensure you're making the right buying decision. Please note this video was produced before the Stage 4 stock actually landed in the UK so give our stores a call just to make sure there's one available to try before you make the journey. We also offer part exchange so if you have a keyboard you might want to upgrade to a Stage 4, our upgrade offers might be helpful to you and save you the hassle of selling your gear on the private market. Email details of what instruments you have to trade in and we'll get right back to you with evaluation. You'll find more details about part exchange on the product pages on our website. So before we get too deep into the technical aspects of the keyboards, let's just take a look at the basic things you need to know about the Nord Stage 4. So the Stage 4 range of keyboards has been created to be the ultimate performer's instrument. It's available in three different keyboard options, including both 73 and 88 key weighted hammer actions, as well as a compact 73 note synth weighted waterfall keybed. There are various accessories available at extra cost, including wheeled carry cases, uh, keyboard stands, a music rest, various pedals, and even a set of matching Nord Red monitor speakers. As a keyboard player, there are two things that I really love about Nord keyboards. And firstly, it's the sound. These keyboards just cut through the mix of a band like no other instrument that I've played. So if you're a keys player on stage, I'm sure you'll have experienced a situation where it's your turn to do a really dynamite solo and you play your heart out only to be told by someone in the audience after the gig that they couldn't hear you. And of course this has something to do with the amplification, but my experience has been that many keyboards simply don't have the basic guts in their sound samples or their D2A converters to break through the frequencies that you're often in competition with on stage from guitarists and bass players and drummers. Secondly, Nord keyboards are extremely hands-on instruments with lots of knobs and sliders and buttons all at your disposal to make changes quickly whilst you're performing with very little menu diving through the screen. In fact, I've counted a total of 136 physical controllers on the front panel. And rather than being overwhelming, I actually love this approach because it makes the instrument so intuitive to use. You will have noticed in the intro to this video, I was easily able to add and remove sound layers in real time whilst I was playing the keyboard. The Nord Stage 4 has three separate sound engines plus a dedicated effects processor, which are clearly laid out on the front panel. In the central area of the control panel, you will find the bright OLED display, which clearly tells you which sounds you've got selected. And beneath this, there are eight buttons for selecting different programs. A program is a complete snapshot of the instrument and includes which sounds are selected, split points, controller assignments, effects, and lots of other parameters. It's possible to store a total of 512 programs in the Stage 4's memory, which should be ample for most situations, whether you're playing live on stage, at home, or in the studio. So just quickly while we're talking about effects, the Stage 4 offers a full set of independent effect chains for each of the seven layered sound parts, which means you could, for example, use a phaser on an electric piano and a completely different phaser effect on a layered synth part. Or you could use two completely different types of reverb on different sounds which are active at the same time. This has never been achievable before on a Nord Stage keyboard. 
So I'm sure you're dying to hear some of the sounds that this monster keyboard can produce. So let's start with the piano section. And before we get into the details, let's quickly take a listen to one of my favorite new patches on this instrument, which is a voice called Hi-Fi Grand. I think that's a really beautiful piano voice and it's based on the sample of a Yamaha S6 Studio Grand. Now I've been playing uh, a Nord Stage 3 for the last six years and I can honestly say there's a big improvement in the keyboard response on the Stage 4 and you especially notice this when you're playing the piano voices. The triple sensor hammer action keyboard is the same as Nord uses on their Piano 5 Premium Stage pianos and it does feel absolutely lovely to play. Even the semi-weighted waterfall keyboard on the Stage 4 Compact 73 has a triple sensor mechanism to capture as much of your playing nuances as possible. Something I find really useful with the Nord Stage keyboard is that it's easy to add effects to your sound and this is especially convenient when playing a piano sound live on stage and you need the top end to cut through the mix a bit more or you want to add a touch of reverb in the studio. So there are six different types of piano voices available from the front panel including grand, upright, electric, clav, digital and miscellaneous which is where you'll find some of the tuned percussion voices such as marimba and vibraphone. It's possible to layer two different piano voices together within the piano section, which means that it's possible to create some of the sounds made famous by artists such as David Foster or Elton John. You may even have seen a video I created a couple of years ago which showed you how to create that legendary Elton John piano sound, and I'm pleased to say that I can get an even better result using the Nord Stage 4. So to give you a quick example of how to create that classic Elton John piano sound, I've selected uh, a sample here called Bright Grand, and if we check the info about that sample, you'll see it's actually a Yamaha S4 Studio Grand sound, and it sounds like this. So it's quite a nice, bright, staged piano sound. But on my second piano part, I'm going to um, assign a digital piano sound. Now this is actually a sample of a Roland RD1000 piano from the 1980s and Elton John, uh, it was synonymous with that kind of sound. So just have a listen to this. So it's quite a synthetic type of piano sound, but if you layer the two together, you get this kind of sound. particularly hear it cutting through in this register, sort of one or two octaves above middle C. You could even add maybe a, a synth pad sound with a bit of phasing to get this kind of effect. Add some 
orchestral strings as well as the phasing uh, for a more 1990s uh, Elton John sound. So the piano section allows you to select different piano samples using the list knob and it's also possible to add string and damper resonance, alter the keyboard touch sensitivity and also the basic brightness of the piano tones. So let's just take a listen to some of the other preset piano voices you'll find in the Nord Stage 4 when you first power it up. All of these examples are factory presets and I haven't made any adjustments to the EQ or the effects settings.
The big thing with Nord keyboards is the ability to download and install completely new piano samples into the memory. There's a total of two gigabytes of flash memory available to install piano samples, which can be downloaded from the nordkeyboards.com website. Loading new samples into the keyboard is a very simple process. All you have to do is install the free Nord Sound Manager software to your Mac or PC computer, connect the keyboard via a standard USB cable, and then drag and drop the samples across to the keyboard. Within the piano section, you'll find specific effects and parameters, including string resonance, keyboard touch, a dynamic compressor, octave shift, and some preset EQs, including a couple of Chuck Monty style dyno EQ settings, which work really nicely on the Rhodes EP voices. To save you from having to adjust your favorite piano settings for every single patch you want to save, new to stage four is the inclusion of the preset library. The buttons to access the preset library are located just above the central display screen, and this gives you access to a whole bunch of factory preset sounds for each of the sections, which can be used to combine and mix to form the basis of your own sound programs. You can also customize and save your own presets to the preset libraries, which means you can instantly recall your favorite sounds within each of the sections. This certainly makes building your own programs much quicker than ever before. So let's now move across to the synth section where you'll find a huge choice of extremely useful sounds which are what makes the Stage 4 different from other instruments in the Nord keyboard range. The Stage 4 uses similar synthesizer architecture as the Nord Wave 2 and offers the ability to create triple layer synth parts which can be used to produce huge lush pad sounds or for creating big brass parts. The older Stage 3 model only allowed two synth sounds to be layered at the same time so this is another significant improvement. Each of the synth layers can use either classic analog waveforms, digital waves, FM algorithms, or samples to form the basis of sound creation. And as with the piano section, it's possible to import your own samples into the synth section of the stage four. There are lots of samples already available free of charge from the nordkeyboards.com website, or you can use Nord's free sample editor software to easily construct your own sample sets, which can then be imported into the keyboard. I would also recommend you take a look at the Nord user forums that you'll find online because lots of Nord users regularly upload and share their samples and very often you can find exactly what you're looking for and it saves you a whole load of work. Another massive improvement for the Nord Stage 4 is the new advanced polyphonic arpeggiator which now allows you to create your own rhythmic arpeggiator patterns using the onboard pattern editor. The arpeggiator can be running three completely different independent patterns for the three synth parts. I'm now going to play you a selection of some of my favourite sounds which have been created using the synth section just to give you a cross section of the kind of sound that you can expect to achieve with the stage four.
powerful but often overlooked feature of Nord Stage keyboards is the morph function. Now morph allows you to assign the movement of one or several of the parameter knobs to either the aftertouch, a controller pedal or my favourite which is the modulation wheel. So as a really simple example of this, if I take a basic soft synth pad sound, I hold down the morph assign wheel button and I increase the filter frequency slightly. That has now assigned the filter frequency to the modulation wheel. Now at the same time I can also assign another parameter at the same time to the wheel. So if I just switch on synth part 2 I have a choir sound. Turn the volume up. But what I'm going to do is assign that volume slider to the wheel at the same time as the filter cutoff is also assigned to the wheel. So I again hold down the morph assign, move the slider and now the volume of the choir will increase as the filter opens. So let's activate both voices together. As I move the wheel, both the filter cutoff and the volume of the choir increase at the same time. Another great use for the morph feature is to increase the volume of the organ part behind the piano as I'm doing in this example. The final sound generator that I want to show you is the organ section. Nord has always been well known for offering a really competent set of organ voices in their keyboards and the Nord Stage 4 builds on the seriousness of the organ section with the addition of a full set of nine physical drawbars available in all three keyboard models. The drawbars enable you to craft your own organ tones whilst playing live, so let's just take a listen to a quick example of how the organ sounds in the Stage 4, and then I'm going to explain some of the most important things you need to know if you're new to using a dedicated drawbar organ instrument. So for anyone who's new to using a drawbar organ sound module, this is my quick overview of just how to get started. So 
Uh, they were a, a drawbar organ uh, originally made by Hammond, was made as a, a classical practice organ or a church practice organ for home use. And you can imagine the drawbars actually represent each of the pipes of a church organ. So we have on here a 16 foot pipe, an eight foot pipe, and these just vary the volumes of the individual pipe footages. So you can sort of craft your own uh, sound by altering the volumes of, it, of all nine drawbars. Um, so if we just have a listen to some of those. Now like that, it's not a particularly inspiring sound for playing rock and pop, but if you take the um, the rotary speaker simulator then that gives you the emulation of plugging your Hammond organ into a Leslie speaker and that's what gives us that sound that we all know and love so if I just take the first four draw bars and pull them out that's the clean sound now what I'm going to do is speed up the Leslie speaker put it into fast mode and just listen to the difference But what I also like to do is to add a bit of overdrive to the organ as well. So I've got this knob here on the Nord that says drive. So as I increase the drive, now if I want to add a little bit of, of sort of higher frequency to that, I can just pull out the uh, the smaller pipes, so the, the one foot pipe, and then. Now, very often whilst I'm playing, I'm actually moving the draw bars uh, because it gives you a bit of expression and, and you're, if you're playing a song you know, for the chorus, you might want to bring out more draw bars than for the verse when you just have two or three out on a slow Leslie and get this kind of sound. A little bit less drive. Then as you're building up to the chorus, start to bring out more draw bars. Then of course there are a few other controls as well. So you've got percussion. So this just adds um, a, a percussive tone to the attack of the organ. So I'll bring out the first four draw bars. Let's take off the overdrive for a little while. Switch on the percussion section and... Hear how that's added that little percussive noise at the beginning if I turn it off. And the percussion can be used to give you that kind of classic jazz organ tone. You've also got vibrato and chorus as well. So let's turn off the, uh, the Leslie uh, or the rotary speaker effect. And we'll just again have our first four draw bars out. And I'm gonna add the chorus to the sound. So this is without chorus switch the chorus on, just warms the sound up a little bit, but it makes a big difference when you bring the overdrive in and the Leslie on a faster setting. And of course you have different types of organ models within the Nord Stage 4, so that's using the classic B3 sound, but you've also got um, the sound of the, the Vox organ, you've got the Farfisa, there's a couple of pipe organ models as well, and there's a B3 bass sound as well. So 
overall it's a very competent um, organ section and better than you will have found on previous uh, incarnations of the Nord Stage. There's a new button called the Layer Scene button on the Nord Stage 4, and this allows each of your programs to have two independent layer configurations where individual layers of complete sound sections can be switched on or off with just one button press. It's probably easier to show you how this works in context than try to explain it. So I want you to imagine you're playing a song in a band and you want to begin with just a piano. Then add a synth pad to build a bit of atmosphere. And then for the bridge, you need to add a bell sound for the top section of the keyboard. And finally, for the chorus, you want to bring in some drawbar organ sounds to really lift the mood. Using the layer synth button, you can achieve all of this in just one single program on a Nord Stage 4. And here's how to do it. So I start off with just the basic piano sound. Then I add the soft synth pad sound by bringing up the volume on the synth section. And as I progress to my bridge, I press the layer scene button and it automatically brings in the nice little synth bell sound on my right hand. Now using the morph function, I've assigned the volume of the organ section to the wheel. So as I approach the chorus, I raise the volume of the organ sound. And then as we go back to the verse again, I press the layer scene button, I'm just back to my piano with the pad and I lower the volume of the pad sound. As well as layering sounds, it is also possible to assign sounds to different zones of the keyboard by using the split function. Activate the split keyboard mode by pressing the split on slash set button. You can then assign each sound part to a specific area of the keyboard using the keyboard zone buttons that you'll find within each sound section. You can also adjust the octave shift of each sound too. So let's quickly create an electric piano and bass split program to show you how easy it is to work with the split points. So I've selected a Rhodes type piano sound, which is currently across the whole keyboard. All I have to do is press the split button and then I need to assign that to the right hand side. You'll see a little lights come on in the middle of the keyboard to show me where the keyboard split is. So if I hold down shift and press the octave shift button to the right, that actually assigns the piano part to the upper octaves of the keyboard. I'm gonna switch on the synth part now and I've got a slap bass sound. That's still across the whole keyboard at the moment, so all I have to do is hold down shift, octave shift to the left on the synth part, and now I've got Rhodes on the right, and bass on the left. If you press and hold down the split on button, it's possible to activate all three split points known as low, mid and high. And this allows you to divide the keyboard into a total of four distinct zones to which any layer can be freely assigned. As with previous Nord keyboards, the split points are preset to specific locations on the keyboard, and these are clearly indicated by little LEDs. Each split point also has a crossfade parameter. Now normally the transition between two keyboard zones is immediate with no overlap between the sounds selected for each zone, and that was demonstrated in the uh, EP and bass program that I just made. However, by adjusting the crossfade setting for a split point, the sounds can instead be crossfaded across a split point with an overlap of up to six semitones to give a smoother transition between the sounds. So a really good example of the crossfade function is with a piano and strings layer program that I've made here. So this type of layer is one of the most used sounds for many keyboard players, but I only like my strings to be active in the lower and mid range of the keyboard, which leaves the solo piano space to kind of sing out in the top octaves of the keyboard. So using the split crossfade function, you'll hear that the strings gradually fade out across a number of notes rather than abruptly stopping at the split point. And this is just another Nord feature that I feel shows these keyboards have been designed by musicians who really have knowledge of what live performers really need in an instrument.
So the final part of the stage four that I briefly want to touch on is the effects section. And this part of the keyboard is immensely more powerful than the effects sections featured on previous Nord keyboards. And that's because all of the effects are available to be used on each sound part independently. So the effects section is divided up into six parts, all of which behave independently for each of the five piano and synth layers. For the organ section, there is one effects unit available to be shared by both organ parts. So the sections are as follows. Two separate modulation effects generators, including wah, tremolo, auto pan, and a new effect called pump, which gives a kind of sidechain type sound. Plus there's a phaser, flanger, chorus, ensemble, and a few other modulation effects. Next up is the amp section, which includes a powerful graphic EQ with sweepable mid control and some vintage amp models to give your EPs and clav and synth sounds some additional dirt. There's a complete delay effect section with tap tempo. There's a compressor to give your overall sound more presence, and this particularly works well on stage. And finally, there's a set of beautifully clean reverbs, which can either be assigned differently to each sound section, or you can assign one global reverb effect to all sound parts. Here's a short montage of sounds I've put together which show how powerful the effects processing is on this keyboard. And notice that when I change programs, there's no cutoff of the previous voices. In some cases, I'm holding onto sounds using the sustain pedal whilst changing patch, and then I can spend quite a long time playing the new sound, and you'll hear the previous sound in the background, which enables you to create some massive textures of sound. That brings me to the end of my Nord Stage 4 demo and feature review and I hope it's been helpful to help you make a decision as to whether it's the right keyboard for your needs. As I said earlier, you are very welcome to come down to a Bonner's showroom to test drive one of these for yourself. Just give us a call to make sure that we have one on display in the store that is closest to you. I'd just like to end by saying thank you very much for watching my Nord Stage 4 review.